Being nearsighted is extremely common. One out of every two people struggle with myopia. For those of us unlucky ones, the blurry vision can start as early as kindergarten. So do you remember when you had to get glasses? Yeah. Do you remember what was your what was your thought the day you found out you had to get glasses? Uh, I was pretty sad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to wear glasses. Were you the only kid in your class with getting glasses at that time? Yes. Why were they so bad? They're just uncomfortable. I didn't think I looked good. I think I looked weird. Yeah. And did you feel like it was weird because no one else had them yet? Yeah. You can't even talk about playing sports in your glasses because you never did. No. Literally never did. Why not? Because I feel like they would fall off my face. When I was playing soccer at that time when I got my glasses, mm -hmm. if I got kicked in the face with the ball, they'd break. And also, I still didn't like them. You did hockey, we went skiing, you played basketball, you played soccer. You never warm for any sport. No. So is it hard to do something when you can't see? Kinda. You were nine, we got you contacts, right? How, what'd, you, how, what'd you think of that? I liked them. At first it was really weird, because you're basically touching your eye. Yeah. They're pretty easy to do. Yeah, and you're super good at it. You don't have like glasses sitting on your face. It really just, like, it just feels like nothing's in your eye. Yeah. Kind of just feels normal. If you just get it in there fast, you don't feel anything. Could you imagine having to wear your glasses 24 seven now? I'd hate it. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, especially playing sports. Yeah. Uh, that was, of course, Amy's son, Henry, oh, talking yep. about his experience with these lenses. Myopia is on the rise, so today we're getting tips and treatment options from our for our little ones from Dr. Grant Miller. Thank you for joining us. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having Yo, me. I was we're fascinated all, yeah, by this whole thing. So we're talking about little ones, but this can also apply to adults. But let's go back here for a second. Explain what myopia is. So myopia, or nearsighted, which it's commonly referred to, has always been this misconception of just having blurry distance vision. Mm -hmm. Myopia is actually this progressive and irreversible elongation of the eye. As the eye grows longer, this increases risks of irreversible vision loss in conditions like myopic maculopathy, glaucoma, cataracts, mm. and retinal detachment. Now, is this hereditary? Because I have poor eyesight. Henry's got poor eyesight. My husband has poor eyesight. Now the twins are even going south. Yes, so as you can see from yeah. your own experience, <laughs> yeah. there is a hereditary component, okay. but there's also environmental factors. There's lifestyle factors too. But we are seeing a rapid increase in children developing myopia that have no myopic parents as well. Oh, okay. Uh, we, do we know why? There's lots of stuff. For instance, we're spending more time inside and less time outdoors. Okay. Kids are spending extreme amounts of time working up close from things such as reading to spending time on digital devices as well. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So these are contacts that kids wear overnight. Explain yep. a little how it works. Yeah, so uh, these lenses, they are specifically designed to match the prescription and the shape of the patient's eye. While the child sleeps or even the adult sleeps, mm -hmm. these will safely reshape the front surface of the cornea, creating zones that will correct for myopia as well as slow down the progression of myopia. And so this is something cool. that you're going to have to wear for the rest of your life. They very well can. Uh, this is what's nice is it's not permanent. Um, kids can do this for three, four, five, ten years and then stop. Their oh. eye will then return back to their prescription. But the goal is it will have slowed down from oh. them getting stronger and stronger over time. Okay. And you think about, okay, you buy one pair of contacts that lasts maybe a year versus possibly a very high lens prescription for a year, that gets expensive. Yes, so cost over time, as those prescriptions increase, as you're looking at contact lenses increase, glasses lenses increase too, so cost will, does rise over time, which is where it's also important to slow down the progression of nearsightedness too. Okay, let's talk about the, the treatment itself. How long do you have to wear these, and do you need a new pair every day? Yes, so these lenses, they're good for 12 months or a year. Um, you're gonna sleep in these every single night as a child. Adults can get away with sleeping in them every other night, but for children, we sleep in them every night to slow down the progression of their nearsightedness as well okay. as correct myopia. Okay. And I, just from my experience, it's, it was a game changer because he would not wear his glasses. He was embarrassed because mm. he was the first and only kid in his class we had him. And then they would fall off his face when he was playing sports. And then you put contacts into the mix and he's like, whoa. Yes, so you get the big lifestyle change from kids, yeah. but they get to enjoy freedom from not wearing glasses or contact lenses during the day with things like orthokeratology, and that is a huge change for them, not having to be responsible during the day. Yeah. Okay, so if parents are trying to prevent 
myopia from coming on? What can they do? So biggest thing I talk with parents is kids don't understand what blurry vision is. Mm -hmm. So it's going to make it very tough for them to say, hey, mom, dad, I can't see. Um, so because of that, it's extremely important that children have annual eye exams. Mm -hmm. uh, additionally, like we previously talked about, making sure that they spend more time outside, really try to reduce digital device use, mm -hmm. as well as pay attention for other signs and symptoms such as headaches, eye strain, tired eyes, eye rubbing, and squinting. Yeah, because mm -hmm. my five-year-olds are now in uh, multifocal lenses, glasses, because they're starting to see some changes, so we're already heading down that road. And so it's, it's, it can be happen really early. I don't think people realize that. Yes, that's the thing. Uh, we recommend having children have an exam at six months to actually see if you know visual system's normal, and then we're looking again at three years old, five years old, and then continually yearly monitoring from there. Wait a minute, is this something that you get out of your typical doctor's office, or do you need to go see a specialist? You can see this at a lot of offices. There are not a lot of eye care providers that actually do this because it requires taking more time doing additional tests oh, okay. um, with children. So okay. um, we are fortunately one of the uh, few that do does this on a lot of children. Okay. I will say it's worth the time. That's for certain. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Hey, uh, scan the QR code on your screen for more information of go to seeyourability.com. Amazing. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah.